This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. The government cushions worries over the price rise of LPG cylinders VAT on LPG slashed by 4%, that's 15 rupees less on your bill. Even as Amma may not look at an immediate change in relationship with the Congress in today's situation, the TNCC chief joins her in chorus on her local stand. A murder suspect kills himself in Mumbai after a probe into the death of an actress points to his links. A special team examines the witnesses. No escaping the traffic cop when it comes to breaking the rules on the city's roads. New portable signals and electronic chillans hand out immediate bills. Portable traffic signals which are very, very useful in the event of any large gathering, large congregation, any festival or any other bandhubas where we do not have the facility of a regular traffic signal. Power cuts turn Chennai is powerless, even crawling into our RTO offices with no generators in sight. Applicants are left sweating for their jobs. Cadets from the Officers Training Academy are not just short service commission officers here on. A management course in defense and strategy is, is also an not additional fun. push that anybody out here is going to get, be it the gentleman cadet or the lady cadets. An actor Bharat is back to his boy next door self. He bowls over the leading lady in his new flick, Yuvan Yuvani. Why unnecessarily take an action route? That is the question mark I put to myself. Then came this this Yuvan Yuvati Pathing na Adi Martha Kandeen Kadal Mari or a different Anna or attempt or love attempt. Good evening. Welcome to Headlines now on NDTV Hindu. I'm Evelyn Matthew. It's a big mixed uh, bag of good and bad news coming to you this Tuesday night. But before that, uh, let's also get you the national headlines at the start. Under the 2G scanner, the Ruiz uh, get former Solicitor General and Chief Justice Vindhya to make out a case before the CBI. No decision on Murali Manohar Joshi tabling his 2G report in the Public Accounts Committee. He's legal, uh, legal and advice. 44 children killed over the last 10 days in Bihar of an unknown virus. Omar Abdullah was forced to leave a public meeting today after a spat with local members of his own National Conference Party. The top court takes note of the Tata versus Mamta Singhur land battle and the Farmers versus Mayabadi war in the Delhi suburb. The Satya Sai Trust denies charges of any money being siphoned off, say they have all records of all donations paid by deputies. Myanmar reports well-known actress Michelle Yao who plays Aung San Suu Kyi in an upcoming film. And with New York becoming the sixth US state to legalize gay marriages, it sparks a rush to the altar. Celebs welcome the move. Our top story, Amma has come to the common man's rescue today by providing a cushion to the cooking gas worries for those in the state here in Tamil Nadu. Taking a cue from a fellow woman chief minister in the country, Mamta Banerjee, Ms. Jalalita's government has come out with a move to cut the value-added tax or the VAT, that's the VAT, on LPG by 4%, which means you can save about 15 rupees per cylinder from the 1st of July, that's this Thursday onwards. The common man has been reeling under hiked fuel price and this move comes in the wake of the centre hiking the LPG cylinder rates by around 50 rupees. The price of uh, these cylinders presently is 404 rupees and the cut will slash the prices by 15 rupees. Now, NDTV Hindu caught up with a couple of housewives and many else who've already started sighing a huge relief. Here's what a few had to say. Uh, we are happy if you decrease more, but uh, usual normal women, I mean a normal family, they couldn't bear this huge price. And there's no problem with this. Since it's an internal internship uh, de decrease, no, there's no problem. It can be adjusted. It doesn't make any sense by 15 rupees because it's already uh, increased by 50 rupees. So just by 15 rupees, how does it going to big, make a big difference? When you have already uh, increased 50 rupees, which is a very huge amount for a normal uh, person, middle class family. So I don't think, I don't know why government is doing like this and what are they going to get the benefit out of this. So already the normal people, the middle class people, already they are suffering for the other other price rises in other categories and because of all these corruptions and all these middle class people are really fed up of uh, the government. 
Now, the state's chief minister has received encouragement from TNCC chief KV Tangavalu on a national issue today, welcoming Ms. Jailalitha's stand on Lokpal. The Tamil Nadu Congress president has expressed his support in excluding the prime minister from the ambit of the Lokpal. This comes even as Congress's southern ally, the DMK, tacitly favours bringing the prime minister under the Lokpal. The chief minister had justified her stand saying that it would undermine authority of the prime minister in such a situation and pave way for a parallel government. She had added that there was no need as he was already covered under the Prevention of Corruption Act. Now, the trail to a murder suspect who's been on the wanted list of the city police in connection with the death of a housewife was, in fact, has now just hit a dead end. 29-year-old Suresh, accused in the case of alleged rape and murder of a young actress, committed suicide today. He jumped in front of a train in Mumbai city as he got whiff of the manhunt that was on for him. A special team has been rushed to Mumbai to examine the witnesses. The woman who was murdered was found to have had links with a suspect who was related to her husband and uh, had met often at her residence. Now, traffic violators in Namma Chennai are going to find it uh, rather difficult now on to break the rules and get away with it. The traffic policemen are now equipped with electronic chalans for spot finding traffic violators. In this system, the vehicle number is fed, which is received by the control room through a GPRS that ultimately produces a history of the vehicle with regard to offences and other details. Now, a receipt of the fine is also handed over to the violators. Now, add to that. The much-tried trick of not having enough cash in hand may not work now. A system to accept debit and credit cards will also be introduced soon enough. The Chief Minister inaugurated the system today along with a portable solar traffic signal system that proposed to put a full stop to the increasing traffic congestion across the city that replaces the regular signal systems during power cuts or even during VIP visits. Ms. Jalalita also requested the police force to be much friendly and polite with the public of the city. The e chalan is a mini computer, can be handled from remote locations, and once you identify the violations on the road, it can be activated, and there is a GPRS connectivity to the main server, which has got the details database on the vehicles as well as the offenders. We activate that and the machine generates an electronically uh, generated uh, printout which can be given to the violator. It also has a facility which can accept fine amount to be deposited through a credit card which we are now in coordination with the bankers. We'll be, active, we'll be using it after, a few, after some time. This portable system which is operated on solar as well as on the battery backup can be very, very useful for traffic regulation in such areas. Moving on, despite police warnings, it seems people continue to get swayed by promises of quick returns. Today saw more than a dozen people approaching the Commissioner of Police with complaints of uh, being duped by a multi-level marketing company. According to these complainants, the company invited people to enroll as data entry operators on a commission basis and had also collected a sum of 6,000 rupees from each of them as caution deposit. The complainants now claim that they were denied their commission, also that they were unable to get back their uh, caution deposit since the cheque issued by the company had bounced. They want action taken against this particular company. Sonna Mari Sayala. Sonna the owner, Sayer the owner, or five percent in what is Yenamari implies in the Pataka or Mupadanapa the Perupanga. Yenamari in the command a giant panong, Arar and with the giant panonga, Kitata or Nala and Beriter Panga. Ipa Nangena Padatra Padranaka. Nangala on the Naria Vishetla Badiki put in Iraqi Patrogro, either Nalaki Lanja Chiabdinaka, Yangalamari, Vala Teddy Tigronga, either La Pakpana, Adiya Padia and a Peru, the Lapadiki Padranga, Wali Pingal. Now, the Tamil film industry is indulging in some state related political matters, it seems. Many have voiced their interest to set out for a rally for the retrieval of Kachatheva as well as support Ms. Jailalita's call for economic sanctions against Sri Lanka. This was announced by Mr. Sharath Kumar, President of the South Indian Artists Association, and other office bearers like Manorama. They have also demanded that Chief Minister expedite the housing scheme for the underprivileged artists in the Tamil film world. 
ஜென்ரல் ஆண்டு நடிகர் சங்கத்து வந்து ஏற்கனவே வந்து பையனூரில் ஒதுக்கப்பட்ட இடம் வந்து நைன்டீன் இயர்ஸ் லீஸில் இருக்கு அந்த லீஸ் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டியில் வந்து வந்து நீங்கள் வந்து இடத்த வாங்குங்கன்னு சொல்கிறது வந்து நிறைய பேர் வந்து முன் வர தயாராக இல்லை அதனால் எங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஏக்கர் நிலமா இருந்தாலும் அது வந்து எங்களுக்கு வந்து அது உரிமையை கொடுத்தா அதில் வீடு கட்டி கொடுக்க முடியும் அது முதியோருக்கு நாங்கள் வீடு கட்டி முதல்ல கொடுக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறோம் ஒரு முந்நூறு பேர் ஏற்கனவே வந்து பாதிக்கப்பட்டவங்க நிறைய பேர் வேலை செய்ய முடியாத சூழ்நிலை இருக்கனால அவங்களுக்கு மருத்துவ வசதி உணவு வசதி ஒரு போர்டிங் எல்லாம் அதிகம் மாதிரி முதல்ல பண்ணிடலாம் அது நிறைய சங்க அறக்கட்டையில் வருகின்ற நம்மளுக்கு வருகின்ற அந்த இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் வச்சு வருமானத்தை வச்சு நாங்கள் அதை நடத்திக்குவோம்னு சொல்லி ஒரு கோரிக்கை வச்சிருக்கோம் Now a fire was reported at the South Chennai area of Torepakkam today this happened at the abandoned factory that was owned by a scrap dealer thankfully there were no casualties reported but uh, the forces did manage to uh, douse the fire in quick time This building is you know empty building only bare shell uh, building for last one year and uh, one contractor uh, RD PD enterprises they have been given to contract for removing scraps and all they have been removing the scrap today while cutting the fiber and all with the gas uh, uh, cutting and it happens that some spark or something has erupted and uh, the fire took uh, took immediately we called the fire tender and all within no time this has come down to uh, stand no no uh, no worker were inside no material was inside no chemical was inside moving on the state government today has told the madras high court that they were not averse to the uniform system of education and added that the appointed expert committee would provide the time frame for implementation of the same tamil nadu has also said that the proposed amendment act was aimed at an implementation soon enough and was one uh, that was endorsed by the supreme court as well the apex court was the one to ask the madras high court of taking the amendment act into consideration and uh, so also so that uh, the substandard education would not be encouraged the justice nv balasubramanian committee appointed by the state government to determine the fees for private engineering colleges has come out with its report it says that there will be no change in the fee structure for be tech and bark courses for the 464 private engineering colleges here in the state the fees for non accredited courses in the government quota will be at 32500 rupees while for that of uh, accredited courses will be at 40000 rupees for management seats the fees will remain at 62500 rupees The current fee structure has not been revised for 5 years now. But strict action would be taken against a college if it is found collecting higher fees than that that is fixed by the government. While well, staying with education, cadets at the prestigious Officers Training Academy would soon be able to proudly sport an acronym to their names and an academic one at that. Thanks to the University of Madras and the OTA, which have joined forces, a postgraduate diploma in Defence Management and Strategic Studies course is now on offer for pre-commissioned officers. My colleague Sudarshan Kumar brings you this report. <laughs> The Officers Training Academy in Chennai has become the first defense academy to offer the postgraduate diploma to its cadets. Done in collaboration with the University of Madras, the course is seen as a lifeline for those wanting to move over to civil careers. It was our endeavor that uh, this is institution is located in Madras. Number 1. Number 2, you know, l- large number of students who are coming they are already graduate. They do 10 11 months course. but they get only commission here and then they just go out so madras university can enhance their capacity by adding one more diploma to them which will be useful for service officer in later life person who has gone through this academic part of the syllabus uh, as approved by the madras university he will be in a better position to tackle difficult situations he will be more mature he will be more far sighted and of course tomorrow when he wants to leave the army he will be a, a very honorable and a very useful member of the society defense officials say talks with the university began 7 years ago in 2004 and separate time allocation for the course by the cadets had to be factored in once we uh, approached the university for recognition we saw our syllabus and we saw the university syllabus and wherever our syllabus was lacking as compared to university syllabus we updated it that was the first thing we did that's why we took so much of time Despite the delay the proposal is being welcomed by all 
even the lady commissioned officers who never had such an option when they were undergoing training. Of course, I would have opted because uh, with my aspirations of continuing in the army, I foresee that this kind of postgraduate diploma will help me in enhancing my knowledge and also my uh, qualification as well. It is an additional push that anybody out here is going to get, be it the gentleman cadet or the lady cadets. And at a time when the army is facing a shortage of around 11,000 officers, the management diploma course and better job opportunities after leaving defence services will hopefully inspire more number of individuals to join the armed forces. In Chennai, with Sudarshan, this is Ashmit Kumar for NDTV Hindu. When we come back on this bulletin, if this is what bullfighting claims, the sport needs much to tame, say a group of angry protesters here in the city.